Now on to, we look back to last October and the opening on the Champs-Élysées of a glittering new production with a brand new look. The story of Mikhail Baryshnikov's Gaité Parisienne. I thought that obviously this body should be redesigned. And La Croix was obvious choice because um, it makes you fantasize. It, it's, it's made, it makes your fantasy going. It is moody. Uh, it's romantic, you know, and it's glamorous. Two of the gods of contemporary fashion. On the left, the most talked of new French fashion designer of the 80s, Christian Lacroix. And with him, Mikhail Baryshnikov. Russian-born dancer, now an American citizen, and director of American Ballet Theatre. They're meeting to work on a new production for American Ballet Theatre of the ballet Getty Parisienne. How is it called? Le Midon. Stark. La Croix, who is famous for the flamboyance of the women's clothes he creates, is joining a line of fashion designers who have worked for ballet. Coco Chanel, Christian Dior, and more recently in Britain, the Emmanuels, Catherine Hamlet, and Victor Edelstein. Like yesterday, we discussed uh, about, about the Can Can girls in the red. Maybe if it's an even blondish girl, we could have a kind of a red chignon that it would mix with hair, and then hair it would give a more color to all these girls. You know. Though Baryshnikov will not dance in the new production, he is involved with every detail. This production will be the most publicized event of his company's next season. Gaete Parisienne was originally set in Paris around the 1860s, the Second Empire, when its Offenbach music was composed. It's a frothy, light comedy set in a cafe where even the waiters and cleaning women dance and where aristocrats and soldiers and rich foreigners come to flirt with working girls and what used to be called women of easy virtue, or in French, cocodette. It's the age of the waltz and of the can-can. But until now, it's always been given with its original costumes and set, designed by Count Etienne de Beaumont. For this production, which marks the ballet's 50th anniversary, Lacroix and the set designer, Zach Brown, are updating the ballet from the Second Empire to the 1890s, the era of Art Nouveau, and of the dancing girls painted by Toulouse-Lautrec. Through the back of the cafe will be seen the new Eiffel Tower, illuminated at night. He's so easy and uh, pleasant to work with. It's a p p pleasure for us. American Ballet Theatre is one of the two leading ballet companies in the States and its repertory is perhaps the widest in the world. None of these dancers have performed the ballet before, and it's being taught to them by the choreographer's son, Loka Massim. Again, Ryshnikov is there to supervise and help out with details. There will be more than one cast of performers. Here, Cheryl Yeager and her partner rehearse to the big waltz, a jubilant, romantic duet of the glove seller and baron who have fallen in love at first sight. Go back to 
The waltz pas de deux for the glove seller and the baron is one of the ballet's climaxes. These rehearsals are being watched by some of the other cast. Here, Susan Jaffe, who will also dance the glove seller. Baryshnikov became director of the American Ballet Theatre in 1980. Most of the company's dancers today have been selected by him, such as Susan Jaffe, whom he and his staff have been grooming in leading roles and who is about to be presented as a prima ballerina of the company. Like many in the company, she was trained in New York at the School of American Ballet in a style whose speed and drama and intensity reflect the city. From rehearsal to costume fittings, Jaffe tries on Macra's costume for the glove seller. It's not just drawing, eh? Nice. Your hand there will be different to colors. There's no doubt that this production is to be as much fashion as dance, or more so. Each character will make an entry at the back as if modeling a yet more sensational outfit than the last. The plan is for the company to perform it throughout their two-month spring season in New York, and then in Paris for a week in October, just at the time of the autumn fashion collections. The women's costumes are therefore particularly important. Lacroix has taken the famous Toulouse-Lautrec character, La Goulou, and put her into the ballet to lead the can-can, as well as making more obviously Lacroix-style outfits for the flirtatious Cocodette and other female characters. <laughs> But the costumes must work theatrically too. What about the hat that Lacroix has given the Peruvian? When is it mine? Just, just all just one piece, like, like a, a bustle like or something. A, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I can't even wear. I don't even know if I'd wear it with minis or anything. Arrived just in this hat, but then he's taking on because he so cannot dance it. It can be it as like more good. Okay. You know, when there's the luggage, then he drops mm -hmm. the luggage, then he takes hat. Mm -hmm. That's it. Shiny belt. But for soldiers, let's kill it with shoulders. And it's not so bad. It's exaggerated color. Perhaps it's not so comfortable for them. Oh, it's okay. They don't do much. Okay. No. What about these pants, Christian? Soldiers have to suffer, huh? <laughs> Thank you. 
dance for the cafe's waiters and cleaning women at the start of the ballet. It's a famous example of gaiety parisienne's unrealistic frothiness, its high spirits, its impudent frivolity. And it reflects, too, the pre-war period in which the ballet was choreographed. The original 1938 cast of Goethe Parisienne was exceptionally illustrious. The choreographer, Massine, made the leading role of the Peruvian for himself. The Baron was a role that helped to make Frederick Franklin famous. Igor Yuskevich was the officer. A few months after the premiere, the great ballerina Alexandra Danilova took on the role of the glove seller, to which she brought a fresh dash of class and earned one of the biggest hits of her career. Particularly in America, the ballet triumphed. And in recent decades, American Ballet Theatre has been the company which has performed it most.
wish I could see the dresses just on the street and <laughs> normal day, and it will be uh, get a New York. Huh?